Reseeding gums can be caused by a number of things, but almost always point to gum disease, poor hygiene practices, hormonal imbalances, or brushing too aggressively can all cause damage to your gums that allow bacteria to grow. Reseeding gums can be identified by tooth sensitivity, a large gap between the tooth and the gum, exposed roots, bad breath, or gum bleeding. If reseeding gums are not treated and taken care of properly, damage to the gum can become so bad that teeth may begin falling out. While reseeding gums will need to be treated as quickly as possible to prevent additional damage, you don't necessarily need to visit a dentist to begin the recovery process. You can begin treating your reseeding gums right at home. Here are three natural remedies to stop gums from reseeding. Drink green tea. Due to the high amount of antioxidants, green tea has a lot of benefits, including treating reseeding gums. The antioxidants in green tea have the power to kill off gum disease causing bacteria and reduce the inflammation associated with reseeding gums. So not only will green tea effectively treat reseeding gums, but will also relieve some of the pain accompanying the condition. To get a proper amount of green tea for stopping reseeding gums, begin your day with a freshly brewed cup of tea. This will also give you a fresh burst of caffeine to get your day started. Be sure you are choosing freshly brewed tea and not a pre-packaged product from the store. While they may seem like the same thing, the pre-packaged bottle usually contains additional sugars that can cause more damage to your gums. Aloe vera, like green tea, aloe vera has anti-inflammatory properties that also has the power to kill gum disease causing bacteria. If you have other gum damage or disease aside from reseeding gums, Aloe vera can be an excellent contribution to repairing the health of your mouth. Like green tea, you will want the most natural form of aloe vera that you can get. This usually comes in the form of purchasing an aloe vera plant. Take a leaf from the plant and break it in half to expose the aloe vera gel. There are multiple ways to include aloe vera into your daily brushing routine. You can use the gel as an actual toothpaste by squeezing a bit onto your brush and using like usual, or you can use the gel as a mouthwash. A final way to incorporate aloe vera into your brushing routine is to apply aloe directly to the gums after following your usual brush and mouthwash routine. If you do not want to purchase an entire aloe vera plant, be careful of what you pick up at the store. While the store offers a number of aloe vera options for things like sunburns, they usually have additives that you do not want to put in your mouth. Do your research before making a purchase. Coconut oil. Adding coconut oil to your routine is great for gum health. Known as oil pulling, you just put a bit of the oil in your mouth and swish around as you would a mouthwash. This ensures that your entire mouth gets a layer of coconut oil and its benefits. The coconut oil creates a kind of layer that can prevent germs and bacteria from finding their way between gums and teeth and also stop food particles or sugars from making their way where they don't belong. The consistency of coconut oil can take some getting used to, because it is an oil, it is thicker than a standard mouthwash or other liquid. But, if you can get used to oil pulling with coconut oil, you can experience significantly healthier gums and entire mouth. The health of our gums and mouth is extremely important. If nothing is done about receding gums, you may be looking at tooth loss or extreme tooth sensitivity, which can be extremely painful, while receding gums are treatable and can return to a healthy normal.